can stress affect the functioning of your thyroid gland. Just because we cannot quantify the amount of stress or quantify the effect that stress has on our system doesn't mean that stress doesn't affect the functioning of thyroid gland. So the one word answer to our question is yes, stress does affect the functioning of thyroid gland. It affects directly as well as indirectly. So there are three key factors that we can explore in this video. One, how it affects the thyroid gland directly. Two, how it affects indirectly through the gut and liver. And three, how it leads to autoimmune conditions like Hashimoto's and Graves' disease. So the first one, how it affects the thyroid gland directly. When there is constant stress, the adrenal gland comes up with excessive amount of cortisol. And this cortisol leads to the suppression of TSH production, thereby partially affecting the production of thyroxine. And when that happens, the cellular metabolism gets delayed, there is formation of AMA. And it is this AMA which leads to fatigue and mild weight gain the next day that you feel after a stressful or a strenuous day. Now, how it affects the thyroid gland indirectly? We all know the kind of impact even one day stress can have on our gut. There are some people who experience bloating, there are some others who experience constipation, diarrhea, lack of appetite and some others who end up binge eating. Why is this so? When there is stress, back to back stress, one ends up having vata pitta imbalance in their gut. Now this vata pitta imbalance, when it happens continuously, it leads to the malfunctioning of feedback mechanism of neuroendocrine functioning and this indirectly affects the functioning of thyroid gland. In other words, it leads to sluggishness of liver wherein the hepatic tissue metabolism gets delayed and this leads to impaired conversion of T4 to T3. That means the availability of active thyroid hormone gets reduced. Now coming to the third and most unexplored area, even as per the modern research, which is how stress causes autoimmune conditions. We know that there is no clear-cut evidence for how stress triggers it. But when understood Ayurvedically, there is three dosha imbalance, where there is vata pitta spike in the gut, there is pitta spike all over the body causing inflammation, and there is kapha imbalance which makes one feel sluggish. And on top of all this, there is also formation of ama or inflammatory byproduct which makes one feel sluggish, heavy and restless. So that is how stress affects the functioning of thyroid gland. Now as we know that no thyroid patient can evade the consequences from stress, we also need to know how to manage it. There are four factors to be borne in mind. One is food, second is sleep, third the herbs that can help you fight it and fourth how you can improve your natural resilience towards stress. Talking about food, try eating on time. If you evade food, you are going to spike the vata and whenever there is stress, automatically it will lead to further vata imbalance. So try eating simple home-cooked food that are easier to be digested and not bothering with much of proteins or fat. Second, you need to have a good sleep hygiene, which means no matter what, early to bed, early to rise. And this ensures that a proper 8 hour sleep will give a good time for your thyroid and liver to rest and the next day morning it can kickstart with its functioning. Third, you can introduce herbs like Brahmi, Jaramanchi, Yashti, Blue Pea which are amazing brain toning herbs which will also help you tackling overthinking, anxiety, palpitation, nervousness and few other emotional issues that a thyroid patient has to battle on a day-to-day -day basis. Now coming to the most important factor, how to improve your resilience. We all know that we need to be more immune to stress, but how do we do that? Especially when the work and life is quite demanding in this fast-paced life. Ayurvedically understood, the kind of work, profession, career we choose should not be draining. It should not ooze out the energy, enthusiasm, aura or ojas as we call it ayurvedically. Instead, the kind of job that you do should be more nourishing, fulfilling and something that gives you contentment. So when you engage in activities that is more fulfilling, 
it will prevent the vata imbalance and on a daily basis it doesn't demand your thyroid gland to function relentlessly now coming to improving your resilience once we are on track with respect to food sleep and consuming the right form of herbs then it is about us investing time on ourselves and trying to find out whether we need to get affected by every single thing happening around us as in we have to be more selective about the kind of reactions that we give for every single stimuli we got to be more aware about the kind of reaction that we have to every kind of stress in life easier said than done but this is exactly what we train our patients to do while tackling their basic pathology and that is exactly what has been giving them results try doing these and let me know if they are helping you